everyone, it's Sarah or Lovely Day here with an unboxing video. <laughs> My Meridor Lily has made it and I thought she wouldn't <laughs> for a while there. I knew she was always going to get here but I just didn't think I would have her in my hands today because DHL, which is what Mirodol ships through, don't send to PO boxes, which is a pain in the ass because that's how I get my mail. I do also get mail at my apartment, but unfortunately, it's just a pain. Anyone other than the generic letter, postie, whatever you call it, can't get through the door and can't get into our mailboxes because they're locked and they're really small as it is. Some couriers or whatever will leave parcels on top of it or under it in our lobby if they can even get through the door, which a lot of the time they can't and technically they're not meant to leave parcels there. Last night, because I knew she was meant to be delivered today, I checked on the link thing that DHL text me because I put my cell phone number on the address which was the best thing I could have ever done. They text me this URL and it gave me the options through that to redirect my parcel and I redirected it to a locker drop thing. I have her wig here which I will put on her. Now the clothes I have specifically for her should be here any day now. Um, now I did sort out the tape beforehand. Guys they gave me a little gift. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, so I opened it up and I don't know if you can see, but there's like... <laughs> That's so random. There's like a little um, plastic squishy Ola from Frozen. <laughs> there's also a magic eraser in here, which is super, super handy. I actually need some more of this, so... I'll be using this for when I do her face up, so that will be great, thank you Miradol. I don't know why people complain, because I got great communication from them. When I messaged them asking if they had an ETA, they said, oh, you know, not for a little while yet, because they had to remake the moulds, which was all good. A week after that, they emailed me and said that she should be ready to ship in about a week. That actually passed, but before the week was up, they emailed me again with a further update saying, you know, has it shipped, you know, another week. And then after that, she shipped. I definitely recommend messaging them on Facebook because they reply quite quickly on there. And when they went to ship her and discovered I had a PO box, they made sure to contact me and get an address that would work. She does feel quite floppy. Maybe. Yeah, so I'm probably going to have to re-string her, but... Oh wow, she looks so cute. And I love her skin tone. Get her out of this bag. She's definitely floppy. I will have to restring her. Um, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Pull her out of there. Now, I did get her on the new body. Um, it's one that I had to order separately. If you just order the Lily as is, she will come with the old body, which is more mature, but yeah. I do like this body though. She's quite shiny around her bust and she's kind of met elsewhere so it's a little bit strange, I'm not sure why. But yeah, she's definitely quite floppy as you can see. But I, I really like her guys, she's really pretty. Let's take these off her hands. Now the hands are one thing that are a little bit odd since the socket or like the thing that the hands are in is smaller. But um. How about we start from the feet and work up, so I'll show you everything about this doll. I'll start at her feet. Um, as you can see, she has cute little toes. Her feet are the most detailed in the world, but you know, the feet. Um, she has kind of the generic you know, down mobility and next to no up, although I mean, she won't hold that, but if I swear her, she might. She has double jointed knees on this body, which is pretty cool. So she can bend it one click and then two. So she could almost sit on her knees if you wanted her to, although there is some gapping here. Um, yeah, I definitely need to restrain her. The hip joint's always a joint that kind of intrigued me with these mirror dolls because I feel like this ball should be a lot bigger for that joint socket. I don't know about you, but it just looks, yeah, you can see how loose she is. Um, but yeah, it just looks too small in there. So I'm definitely going to put a lot of suede in there just to help it um, 
do what it's supposed to do. She has minimal sculpting on her legs, but her butt is the cutest little thing. You can see where her spine is and that carries on through. She does have very slight bumps where her shoulder blades would be. And then on the front, you can see her belly button. Uh, there's a line that goes up to her rib cage, and then she has her chest piece, which, as I said before, is really shiny. Not sure why, but yep. Yeah. Um, she has her little nipples, her shoulders, and this arm joint works really well. Just straight away, really easy, even though she is so loosely strung. It has this little um, clippy bit here that lets her keep her arm up without too much effort. The elbow joint though is kind of strange. I think it's because that peanut is so small. I don't know if you can see that. But that joint peanut is so tiny that it struggles to really do much in there. But I do think if I swayed in her elbows that it will bulk it up enough that it should actually work quite nicely so I'll definitely be doing that and then her wrists as I was about to say before the ball on her hand or I suppose it is her wrist is so small in the socket of the lower arm it does look a little strange but hey it works and her hands aren't quite as blocky as I thought they'd be they're actually quite sweet so that's nice she does have individually sculpted fingers. So I'll see if I can hold them closer for you. But yeah, her hands aren't too bad. From what I'd heard, I thought it would be a lot like messier in there and it's actually really nice. The resin seems fine. I mean, there's a couple of little imperfections, I suppose, but like they're nothing at all major. Her toes do have slight webbing, but it's nothing too big of a deal. I just think she has the most adorable little face. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do her face up until like next week probably because it's meant to rain all week this week. Even with the dehumidifier going, there's only so much I can do because I hold the head that I'm spraying out the window while I'm spraying it. Alright, now I'll put her wig on so you can see what that looks like. It's another alpaca wig from Bella Chicks Doll World. Um, I ordered it a while ago. It arrived the other day, literally the day after I did my other video showing all the wigs. It's black at the top and then it goes down to this really gorgeous pink at the bottom and I think it will just look super cute. Now I don't know what I'm going to name her. It's obviously not going to be Lily. I haven't put much thought into what her name will be. I'll see if I can get her to sit at the end of the table. I'm definitely going to need to restring her and suede her though because seems a bit more difficult than it should be. Now without a face up this does look a bit strange but I'm hoping you'll get the idea at least. So this is my mirror doll Lily. I do think this wig will suit her. I don't really know what style I'm gonna go for but I'll definitely match it to this wig in some way. Actually you know what I'm gonna put some eyes in her too so that she's not quite so creepy. Let's take her head cap off. Okay that was kind of weird. There's a magnet on the bottom. <laughs> and what looks like eye putty at the top. Strange. I don't quite understand why. All right, let's pull this head off. There's quite a lot of elastic in her head, so I'm definitely going to have to restring that because it's, it's quite strange. Okay, so I was putting her eyes in and I realized um, that one eye went in really nicely and the other one uh, did so with some weird gapping. Looked closer and I noticed something. Now I don't know if you guys noticed this before. You possibly did. Let's just have a look. Can you notice anything slightly odd about this head? This ear is much higher than this ear. Okay, so in case you can't tell from the fact that my clothes have changed, it has actually been a couple of days since I filmed the opening video for my Lily. After I discovered 
that the Lily's ears are wonky. <laughs> I was not very happy about it. All of a sudden, all I could see were the weird ears. <laughs> After filming that night, I got to work and I actually took her apart. <laughs> I suaded her and I restrained her. One thing I didn't notice until it was kind of too late and I had already um, very much started taking her apart was that her wrists uh, don't have hooks so the elastic is strung through her hands and I don't know how to string it all that way so I kind of just did it my way and then tried to make a hook out of craft wire to attach her wrist to the elastic but then that didn't really work so I ended up just kind of tying string around her wrist and the elastic and it works for now but yeah um after doing that I feel a lot better about her. She poses a lot better, she feels a lot sturdier. Anyway, um, this is Lily. I've put my MSD jersey on her that I did get for Ava initially, but it didn't fit properly with her hips. So Lily has claimed it. She doesn't have pants, sorry. <laughs> so um, here she is. I do feel a lot better about her now that I have restrung her, suaded her, and put these eyes in. These darker eyes looking to the side look really nice, even though they are two completely different eyes. I mean, one's more green, and then the other is more gold, and the pupils are different sizes, so yeah. Um, but this is my Lily. <laughs> After all that, I do think she poses a lot better since she's been suaded. Her elbow peanuts, although they're still very small, they do work a lot better. And I put a lot of suading in this joint here, so now that can work a lot better. And her knees are a lot sturdier too, so she can do this, no worries. And her feet are also able to, um, you know, hold their poses better because I, of course, suaded in there too. She's just so much better than she was before. I am hoping to do her face up this weekend because I am sick of seeing her blank. I'm still not sure if she'll stick around. Not because of the ears or anything like that, more because of her size. Having her for the last couple of days and seeing her next to my other dolls has really made me realise how much I prefer Estes. Yes, I already had Ava who is an MSD, but she looks quite normal and natural here next to my SDs. I don't know if you can see here. Scale wise, I do think Ava looks better next to my SDs than she does next to this girl here. So um, I suppose that's kind of part of it as well. But yeah, so um, who knows? After I do her face up, if I'm still not really feeling it, I might try sell her. Maybe as a whole set with the wig and her clothes when they finally arrive. Possibly this jersey, I don't know, we'll see how we go. But um, I am going to give her a chance. I'll wait until I've done her face up at least and see how I go. Anyway, that brings me to the end of this video. Finally, it's only been however many days, although only a few minutes for you. I do hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It has been lovely and I will catch you in another video sometime soon. See ya.